This is the digital microscope for kids and macro photo hobbyists. Let's find out how well it works on a mobile device. I did do a video on how it works on a computer. If you want to see that, you can click the link above on the top corner. Here are some daily objects that we will be using uh, to test the toy microscope that does about 1000x. So there are some pencils, coins, SD cards, piece of camphor, cloth, cleaning cloth actually, lip balm, a small bottle of Vicks, a knife and some wires. On the other side, there are some organic things that I've kept like a few leaves, a flower petal and of course uh, the human skin. So let's get to it. The copper wire, it's pretty neat, right? It's always unsteady, this thing. Then there's the coin. I love the way the letters are clearly visible. These coins do take a lot of beating and you can see that once you zoom in. A piece of camphor looks very normal. The texture of the mat, again, more magnified. SD card, nothing fancy. And the minuscule text on the Wix container. The lead of a pencil. the tip of a pen. The glass cleaning cloth. Incredible. The surface of the lip balm container. The edge of a knife. It's a paper knife actually. And I think this was the coolest among all of them. The sharpened layers are clearly visible. The human skin. I mean, this thing is really working, right? I mean, it's really magnifying the skin so much that you can actually see through the upper layers of the skin. Hair strands, on the other hand, are also a lot clearer and again, I always notice the most difficult thing using this device is keeping it steady. The organic stuff now. I did add a banana peel to the list, but you know, there's no difference. I mean, nothing looks extraordinary. The leaves of course look really nice and so does the flower petal. The 
There's also a bamboo leaf which I added. Again, nothing extraordinary, but you can see it zoomed in. So how does this look inside? How do you, what do you get with the box? Let's go ahead and see the unboxing of this device. So got this on Amazon for about 1500 rupees and it comes in this neat blue themed box. You would have seen these kind of microscopes on uh, online and uh, they come under various brand names but they look the same. This one's called the Lippy World USB Microscope with uh, 1000x magnification. It's portable, has 8 LEDs and uh, uses an endoscope camera magnifier with stand uses USB to kind of transfer you know the images it takes and then gives you a display of that so it's got uh, some basic specs here let's have a look so a CMOS sensor captures pics at about 2560 by 1920 uh, pixel resolution uh, captures video as well 640 by 480 up to 30 frames a second it's got 15mm to 40mm focus range and it has 8 LEDs to help brighten the subject. So some of the common uses of this microscope are to kind of look at skin closely, look at hair, insects, possibly PCBs. If you have good small circuits, if you want to zoom up and look at those. You can look at jewelry, stamps, a currency and anything else that is really small and you need a little bit of magnification on it. So inside we have a nice solid metal stand. There's a manual, some sort of a calibration scale which they've given and a small driver CD. So the main device, okay, now this is built well, good quality plastic. In the front you would see that it doesn't have any kind of a glass lens or anything. It directly shows you the number of LEDs there, about 8 LEDs and there's a small tiny hole. I think that's the CMOS sensor directly inside. You also have an adjusting knob on the side. So this is to kind of uh, focus. Uh, or maybe it's the zoom you kind of uh, have thousand X magnification so you can play around with that it's got a snap button on one side and it's got the zoom button so I think you can zoom uh, this again digitally zoom the image to about six times and you can also click snaps of whatever you're seeing So it's also got a small notch, I think that's where uh, the stand gets into place and holds this thing. So putting this thing together is fairly simple, uh, it's easy to figure out that. And once you do all this, all you need to do is just plug in this to a computer or a USB outlet on a laptop. and install the driver software on the other hand if you want to on the other hand if you want to install this on a smartphone you need an OTG cable you also need appropriate software on Android uh, you got to download the software called as mscopes Once installed, you have to just connect the mobile device. Otherwise, it's going to ask you where's a USB camera. So once you install the software, 
via Play Store. It should give you a pop-up if your camera is plugged in saying select the device. And once you do it, it starts working immediately. That's about it. So is this device worth it? Yes, it's tiny, it's a toy, may not do 1000x, but it's certainly a good device for kids. You can always zoom into all these small little things, including insects, which look incredibly nice in this. And they'll have a good time using this device and learning more about nature and little objects. I'll leave links in the description below in case you want to buy this item. And as always, please do subscribe, like the video if you liked it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.